Get ready for an epic food hunting day. We're in Police, which is a state in northern peninsular Malaysia, and we're going to be driving all over the state, finding some of Police's most famous foods. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. We've got ourselves a car so we can explore Police, and we thought, what better way to start than a food tour? all over the state today. So we're going to be driving all over the place and trying heaps of different food. Let's go for the first stop. Our first dish on our police food tour is Dugging Baka and you have got to check out this meat. So huge pieces of beef were bubbling away on the grill and they were just so beautiful and juicy looking and this plate of beef has just been sliced up. You can see how tender that beef looks and then look at these luscious slices of fat. Holy moly. And it's sitting on a bed of yellow rice. I think the rice is actually cooked with ghee. I can't hold back anymore. I am just going to get in. Let's try a piece of beef which has got slices of um, meat as well as fat. Now we've got two types of dipping sauces. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but let's give this orange one a go. I can see it's got a bit of onion in it as well. All right, just the beef by itself. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. What I love about this is that the fat just sort of melts in your mouth and then the meat still has a little bit of texture so it's it's tender but there's you can really taste the flavor as you chew it of that meat and it's actually quite sweet so I'm not sure what it's been um, sort of cooking in what the marinade is but that is so good let's go for some of that rice and then maybe another little bit of that beef all right let's get one which is a bit more chunky this orange sauce here was quite um, a little bit sour a little bit sweet. Let's give this sort of um, this looks a little bit like sambal belachan, but we'll try it and see what it is with that rice. Mmm, mmm. I think that is sambal belachan. So sambal belachan is a fermented shrimp and chili condiment, and it's really fiery. It's got a really fresh hint of chili and that rice was so flavoursome. It's quite oily, um, a lot of flavour. I think there's got to be some uh, spices that have been cooked in with it. This is a great way to start our food tour. I've got to try some and look at this piece I've got. It's just a big piece of fat. Oh, I've got some rice as well. And I'm going to try this, this runny sauce here. Here we go. <laughs> mm. The fat's really soft. It's definitely quite chewy. It hasn't just broken up and gone down. It's still in my mouth. Oh, that is so good. Like Sheena talked about, it's cooking on the grill up there in some sort of sauce. And it must have soy, I think, sweet soy, because it's got a real sweetness to it. That is great. But it also came with this beef soup. So I'm going to try some. So it's a really runny soup, but really dark in colour. Some spring onions, some sort of leafy green, or some maybe coriander, and just a few little beefy bits in there. Let's give it a go. Wow, that is so rich in flavour. That's a great, great thing to go with this beef, because that is much, much more beefy, whereas that's much more sweet, the actual bits of beef. This is an awesome start to our day of driving all around police, eating their incredible food. We jumped in the car and drove to Padang Besa, which is all the way up on the border of Thailand and Malaysia. Police actually used to be ruled by Thailand in the 1800s for a while, and so the food has a real Thai influence. So we've come up to Padang Besa to try 
two dishes. The first being this spectacular looking Tom Yum Kelapa. So Tom Yum is a traditional hot and sour soup in Thailand. And this one is served in a Kelapa or a coconut. And it looks pretty amazing. You can see it's stuffed full of ingredients. So I can see some fish, there's mushrooms, there's some squid, there's tomato, a gigantic prawn in there, and there's actual coconut flesh which they've stra uh, scraped away from the coconut and added to the soup. And then there's these aromatic so look at that big piece of lemongrass there some lime leaf there'll be galangal and chili all sorts let's just try it I'm just gonna go for the soup mm. oh it's got a real kick a fiery chili kick but it's also really flavorsome you can taste that lemongrass and that galangal and that lime leaf and it's quite sour too. Let's go again. Oh, it's perfect because it's raining so the temperature's a little bit cooler. So having this hot and sour soup is just a really warming. I'm going to give that coconut um, flesh and this piece of, maybe it's chicken actually. Oh God, let's try and taste and see what it is. Mm, yeah. It's just a piece of poached chicken and that um, coconut flesh has actually still got a real bit of bite so it's crunchy that has also soaked up a bit of that soup. This is so good. The next dish we're having is so Thai again. This is paluk ayam. So a big piece of fried chicken and which is ayam and paluk which is sticky rice and look at the amount of fried shallots on top of there. It's crazy. And then this looks like almost a Thai style sweet chili sauce. Let's just rip into this chicken to start with. Whoa, this looks pretty dry. Um, all right, let's see what it tastes like. You can see that case there. It really looks maybe a bit overdone, but we're gonna have to try it to know for sure. All right, rip into that. I'm struggling actually to rip a piece off. <laughs> Right, I got a big piece of chicken. Let's get some of this sticky rice, which has the has all those shallots on it. We'll get some of that sweet sauce on there and try those together. Mm. Mm. The chicken's definitely dry. It's a bit overcooked, which is a shame because the flavor is incredible. It's spiced. You can see here in the skin, see the color on it and in the flesh there. So it's been spiced when it's before it's been deep fried. And that's added a beautiful flavor. Let's go again with another. Oh no, I've bent the fork now. I'll just bend that back to shape. We'll get some more sticky rice, some of that chicken, and some of that sweet chili sauce. Let's try again. Mm. It's very good. The um, the sauce has got a good spice, even though it's um. <laughs> sorry, that was a very big mouthful. Uh, the sauce has got a really good spice, um, but it's really nice and sweet too. The rice has a beautiful texture. It's very sticky. The shallots, which give a little bit of crunch and give give a nice rounded flavour. And then, like I said, the chicken's definitely not what I consider perfect chicken. It is definitely overdone, but it's not overdone to the point of like grittiness or powderiness. It's still very, very tasty. Really good dish and so tight. It's so amazing. We're in this market area. There's scooters parked up all behind us. Almost all of them have Thai number plates. On the way here, we passed huge queues of um, utes heading over the border back to Thailand. This is such an interesting place to be eating. So different to anywhere else we've been in Malaysia. It has such a Thai feel. I mean, even the tablecloth on this table, if you've ever been to Thailand, you'll know this is what the tablecloths are like. And this is what the cutlery is like. And the cutlery that bends when you try and use it. It's such a Thai thing. It's really cool to be here. 
and have this really different feeling. I love it. We've left Padang Besa and now we've come to a Nipa Palm farm to try the Nipa Palm juice. Let's give this a go. It's quite syrupy looking, almost, almost thick looking. But as you can see, we're sitting in all the palms, which is so beautiful. Let's give it a go. It's quite a dirty looking drink and it's not clear. Wow, it's such an interesting flavor. To me, it just tastes like mangoes. I'm gonna try it again. Well, it's really sweet. To me, it tastes just like a mango that's gone a bit too far and has gone almost overripe. So it's getting a little bit dodgy to eat, but it's still nice. But by like, you know, half a day later, it's not gonna be so nice. It's an interesting drink. <laughs> it's kind of, it's really nice. But then it's kind of sort of dirty sock tasting, but like an old mango, but I actually like it. It's very refreshing. And that sweetness will be good because as always in Malaysia, it's hot. So that nice sweetness should revive us and get us ready for our next snack. I really like it. I find it really refreshing. And to me, it tastes like a cross between peach and coconut water. Not bad. No dirty socks? No dirty socks. That was really good. A good refreshing drink, totally different. And now off to the next stop, Police Laksa. We couldn't not eat Police Laksa. So Laksa is a noodle soup dish that you will find all over Malaysia in many different forms. The Police Laksa, look at this broth. It's like almost creamy and it's a peachy brown color. It's made with a fish, so either a mackerel or a sardine, sometimes even eel. It's got these thick rice noodles. There's some red onion. I can see some shredded cucumber. There's this boiled egg. Let's just give it all a toss and give that broth a go and see what it tastes like. Mm. Oh, it's quite strong in fish flavour. So mackerel or sardine are quite oily fish and they do have a quite a distinct flavour so you can really taste it in the broth. But the broth isn't like gritty. It's really smooth. It almost has like a powdery texture. Let's give these noodles a go. I've got a bit of cucumber and some onion in there as well. Mm. Really slippery. Still I have a bit of bounce. The cucumber is really fresh. It's not really spicy at all. It's just a little like faint hint of chili. So what I'm going to do is add a bit of this chili that's sitting here. Um, add a bit of that, give it a bit more heat, and then also squeeze some of this fresh lime over the top. To sort of give it a bit of a zing. Alright. Let's see what that's like. I might try and get some of that egg in my next mouthful. And let's go for noodles, egg, broth. Give it all a go. That egg is really creamy and that flavour of the broth is really unique, it's really distinctive and it also has some herbs in here. I think it's got down salon which is a local herb called water drop wort and it's really distinct. It almost tastes a little bit like um, celery. I've got a big spoonful loaded up with all the ingredients including a big piece of that egg yolk. Mm. The fishy flavors, really quite strong, but not overpowering, like not, not a huge punch to the face, just a beautiful, strong, deep fish flavor. It's really nice. It's got a little bit of texture, that broth, from the, the fish being broken up, so the sardine or that mackerel, how it almost goes flaky. It's got that very fine flakiness to it. It's got also, I can taste some torched, Yes, I can definitely taste some torched ginger, which is a local ingredient. There's a little, little pink flecks. Uh, I can't find any, but I can definitely taste it in there. It's, it adds a really nice, almost sort of floral, not a gingery flavor, even though it's called torched ginger. It's just a sort of a floral, quite a little bit bitter, 
sharp little flavor underneath everything else. This is really good. This is a perfect way to end this food tour. Just really filling, but quite light, fresh. It's a beautiful dish. I absolutely love this one. And that is the Police Food Tour Day done. That was so, so good. And remember to hit subscribe because we're gonna be driving all over Peninsula Malaysia and eating so much food. What did you think of today's food? What we had? Do you live in Malaysia? Have you been to Police? Do you like it up here for food? If you've not been to Malaysia, do you reckon you'd come here now and try the food? We say yes. yes. Such a good day of eating and so many interesting sights along the way. This is a really cool state to drive around in a car. So beautiful. We are loving our road tripping. Uh -huh. Remember to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more food adventures and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Jumpalagi! Jumpalagi!